Hello everybody, a very warm welcome to Smiley Kids channel. Today, we are going to discuss Grade 8 Science Chapter 1 Crop Production and Management. We are also going to discuss few important questions. So without getting late, let's get started. Introduction Do living organisms need food? Yes, living organisms need food. Why do we have to eat food? You already know that, that the energy from food is utilized by organisms for carrying out their various body functions such as digestion, respiration and excretion. Where do we get food from? We get our food from plants or animals or both. Here the question arises, since we all need food, how can we provide food to a large number of people in our country? Mm. Yes, food has to be produced on a large scale. Now let's move to the first topic, Agricultural Practices. What is a crop? When plants of same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale, it is called crop. For example, crop of wheat means that all the plants grown in the field are that of wheat. You already know that crops are of different types like vegetables, fruits and cereals. Accordingly, there is a rich variety of crops grown in different parts of the country. The two broad cropping patterns are Kharif crops and Rabi crops. Let's learn about them in detail. Kharif crops. The crops which are sown in rainy season are called Kharif crops. For example, Paddy, maize, groundnut, cotton, soya bean, etc. Ravi crops. The crops which are grown in the winter season are called Ravi crops. For example, wheat, gram, pea, mustard, linseed, etc. Cultivation of crops involves several activities undertaken by farmers over a period of time. These activities or tasks are referred to as agricultural practices. The activities are preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, protection from weeds, harvesting and the last step is to store the crop. Let's learn about these in detail. Preparation of soil. Preparation of soil. The preparation of soil is the first step before growing a crop. Preparation of soil involves loosening the soil, and leveling the soil. Leveling the soil is also referred to as turning the soil. The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tiling or plowing. Agricultural implements. The agricultural implements used in the process of preparation of soil are plow, hoe and a cultivator. Plow. This is being used 
since ancient times for tiling the soil, adding fertilizers to the crop, removing the weeds and scrapping the soil, etc. Hoe. Hoe is a simple tool which is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil. Cultivator. Nowadays, plowing is done by tractor-driven cultivator. The use of cultivator saves a lot of time. Sowing is the most important part of crop production. Before sowing, good quality seeds are selected. Good quality seeds are clean and healthy seeds of a good variety. Farmers prefer to use seeds which give a high yield. Agricultural implements The agricultural implements used in the process of sowing are traditional tool and seed drill. Traditional tool. The tool used traditionally for sowing seeds is shaped like a funnel. The seeds are filled into the funnel and passed down through two or three pipes having sharp ends. These ends pierce into the soil and place seeds there. Seed drill Nowadays, the seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors. This tool sows the seeds uniformly at proper distances and depths. It also ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing. Now let's add manure and fertilizers to our crop. The substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. This chart shows us the differences between fertilizers and manure. A fertilizer is an inorganic substance whereas manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung and human waste. A fertilizer is prepared in the factories. Manure can be prepared in the fields. A fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil whereas manure provides a lot of humus to the soil. Fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients but manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients. Farmers always prefer manure since it is natural and do not harm any plant or any crop. Whereas fertilizers can harm the crop. So farmers are being encouraged to adopt manure. Now let's irrigate our crop. The supply of water to crops at different intervals is called irrigation. Sources of irrigation are wells, tube wells, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams and canals. The agricultural implements used in the process of irrigation are traditional method and modern method. Traditional method involves moat, chain pump, dekli and rahat. Whereas modern method involves sprinkler system and drip system. Now let's protect our crop from weeds. What are weeds? The undesirable plants which grow naturally along with the crop are known as weeds. The removal of weeds is called weeding. Weeds are also controlled by using certain chemicals called weedicides. Now let's harvest our crop. What is harvesting? 
the cutting of a crop after it's mature is called harvesting harvesting of a crop is an important task harvesting is either done by using sickle or by a machine called harvester after harvesting the crop the grain seeds need to be separated from the chaff this process is called threshing this is carried out with the help of a machine called combine which is both a harvester and a thresher now let's store our crop storage of produce is an important task if the crop grains are to be kept for a longer time they should be safe from moisture insects rats and microorganisms farmers store their grains in jute bags or metallic bins however large scale storage of grains is done in silos or granaries this is to protect them from pests like rats and insects we have seen that plants give us food in the same way animals also give us food such as cow buffalo she goat she camel these all animals give us milk right so food is also obtained from animals for which animals are raped when this is done on a large scale it is called animal husbandry now let's discuss few important questions explain how fertilizers are different from manure so this table shows us the differences between fertilizers and manure a fertilizer is an inorganic substance manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung and human waste a fertilizer is prepared in factories manure can be prepared in fields a fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil but manure provides a lot of humus to the soil fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients whereas manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients question number 2 what is irrigation also mention its sources the supply of water to the crops at different intervals is called irrigation the sources of irrigation are wells tube wells dams ponds rivers lakes and canals question number 3 arrange the following boxes in proper order to make a flow chart of agricultural practices so first process is preparation of soil second process is sowing third process is manuring fourth process is irrigating fifth process is protection from weeds sixth process is harvesting and the seventh and the last process is storage here we go these are the seven processes preparation of soil sowing manuring irrigation protection from weeds harvesting and storage this is an interesting fact earthworms are farmers friends do you all know why 
earthworms turn the soil and loosen it for proper aeration so they help the farmer since they help the farmer earthworms are farmer's friends thank you for watching hope you like this video if you find this helpful do like share comment and for all the more updates on all the learning needs subscribe our channel smiley kids